Okay. Well, I will call the meeting to order at 4.59. Okay, um, in attendance, myself, George Zalewski, Heather McCann, and Tom Zanzo, Dustin McCorry, thank you very much, as well, um, Amanda, and then Laura and Jamie and Peggy. Are all of you guys from um, Tidal or? Laura is a rep from West. Yep. Uh, Jamie Laura. Kirsch and Peggy Odell with Tidal and Family Engagement. And I don't know if I see anybody else yet, so maybe we want to, maybe do, we do want to take a quick pause just in case. Yeah, we have a couple there's Cindy. And there's Cindy. I just want to make sure I knew who everybody was with. Yep. Um, and then Amanda is remote. Uh, Amanda, do you want to do the secretary's report? Sure can. Let me just get April in attendance because she just joined as well. <clears throat> so the secretary's uh, summary or the secretary's report from our last meeting. Um, in elementary, what we did is we earmarked for the 4K field trip that was already previously approved. Um, we approved the Scholastic Book proposal at $3 per child twice for this year. Um, SNAP accounts are approved as needed, $50 per school upon request. We also approved the conference meals to uh, be of similar pricing as 2019 and to include a vegetarian option for staff. In middle school, um, we also approved the Scholastic Book proposal for once. Um, due to funding limitations, and it is also a $3 per child limit. Um, in addition, we um, listened to a Title I presentation. So. And then, I, Jordan, if you want me to, I'll just move on. Oh, no, I can't. We have to approve. <laughs> yep, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll make a motion to approve the Secretary's report. I'll um, second it. Second, go ahead. Thank you. Any opposed? Okay, the report is. We'll move on to the treasurer's report now. Okay, so in the treasurer's report, um, we have a new balance. It's $9,889.90. Um, there was a debit of $2,895.95, and it included standard salads, all of the schools. Um, look, we paid that because the salads are large. They were supposed to be the full state for whatever reason, like the uh, brand out of polls, quote unquote. So um, the other thing is we had a donation for the chips from WPBGA, the hot uh, potato grower paper association, all of the uh, and I did that that made me vote to that. Amanda, your, your microphone is cutting out pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes. Do you want to just touch over the numbers again real quick? Okay. So for elementary threats, $9,885.90. There was a debit for the um, 21st tennis of two groups that we ate for right? Those will have no changes, but no transactions, but the balance is also perfect. Okay, so. I don't have the credit to go over thing, do I? No, that's fine. So, just a quick, it was still cutting out a little bit. So, we debited $278.95 for the conference meals with an ending balance of $9,889.90. Um, the chips were donated by the potato growers, and then the middle school was unchanged at 19.50 and 27 cents. So I will make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Anybody second for me? I'll second it. Tom seconds. So the treasurer's report is approved, and we'll move on to some old business from 4K through 3 <laughs> elementaries. Can you add it? Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know where it went now. I have no idea. Dustin, how do you let them back in once it, um, somebody asks for approval and then they right away? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
is Chris Robinson. Disappeared now? Unless he dropped out. That's weird that it didn't just immediately let him in. He wasn't using his school. Come back to it. Okay. Do it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Alright, so whole business. Um, the play, playground committee update. Um, Aaron said there was no changes between last month and this month as far as the committee goes, Tom, do you have anything you'd like to um, add to that? But Aaron and I were planning to meet with Jake. Um, he wasn't able to attend, uh, but she and I talked. Um, I did follow up with Tim Prenti, and um, as far as this evaluation that is being requested, um, I'm still waiting to hear back from him. He, he did make a call down to that Lee Recreation um, and I, I said we're just, I think Champs is just looking for an assessment of what condition is the equipment in um, and I, you know, I would hope maybe maybe that guy would come up, he's in Wisconsin someplace and um, Was that give us an assessment on, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, we're pretty much a year away from this original request because it was, I know we had snow on the ground and the suggestion was to wait until the snow was gone while well, we're almost a full year from that. So yeah. uh, that delay is on our end, but I'm hoping with Tim we can get somebody lined up to come and look at what we got, tell us what we, we have. Um, he did share with me that Head Start has some equipment mm. that um, they're willing to donate. I don't. It would be more for that 4K age group. I don't. Um, I guess it's in decent condition, but it, it's on their north site. And um, one thing that Aaron and I did talk about. I know it's kind of. I don't know how it would work now, but. I thought, you know, would it be good to just drive around to Wittenberg and Elko and what what do other neighboring districts have? Just take some photos and just say, okay, this is what Merrill has, Elko, White Lake, here's what we got. And you know I noticed there's a big pile of playground equipment outside of PC3. Um, yeah, parking oh. out there. So maybe they're in the middle of renovating theirs. So maybe we can. Yeah, maybe uh, yeah, yeah, I know they're yeah. adding out something. Yeah, so the Peace Lutheran, if I might tell you, because I'm on the Peace Lutheran board, um, the Peace Lutheran building committee, I mean, they're building for the next year. And the building won't be, their addition won't be done until the beginning of next school year. And they're driving through the parking or the playground. So they're equipment is down for an entire year and before it's put up they'll be refurbishing it new um bolts painting it putting it back up again so that's why it's laying in a pile right now oh okay thank you so maybe we can get with them and find out if they have it inspected too or if oh, you yeah. know who does stuff like that around here so mm -hmm. okay uh, is there any other questions or issues on the playground committee update Okay, we'll move on to the snack request. We just want to check to see if there's if the schools need any additional snacks or if requesting any additional snacks. Um, Tom, you said you were okay. Your I think school. we're good. Uh, maybe we'll send an a email to um, Rachel and Donna to find out where they're at. Um, and Heather, we're still, are you guys doing snacks with us at all yet or are you still good? We're yeah, we're not going to worry about it right so, now. So, okay, I'm in middle school. All right. Uh, then the scholastic update. Um, did we have, have we purchased the books yet, Amanda, for the scholastic, or do you want to touch on the update? <clears throat> I hope this is not cutting in and out again, but if it is, I apologize. Um, I have not been contacted by Donna yet. As to a purchase order, I know that she was going to be facilitating that process and once an invoice was presented, she would put it on. Um, 
I don't know if uh, Laura, if you know that if the books were sent or a request was sent to current staff. Or Jordan. Oh, I honestly don't know anything about the book other than that you had approved for the kids to get them. But I can ask you questions if you'd like. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that there was, a, if a notice was sent out to parents, great. If not, then we will wait until a notice is sent out. Uh, nothing that I passed out to my students. And, and we are working on that. I don't know if we would be, I think we would be doing that internally with order forms with teachers and students and maybe just letting parents know that CHAMPS has supported this purchase. Um, but I don't see us like sending anything home that has to be ordered. But maybe, but we're working on that right now. Okay. All right, that sounds good. So we will wait to hear when the elementary administrators figure out what they need, then we will go from there. Okay, um, the elementary new business is open. We don't have anything on the agenda today. So if anybody has anything as far as elementary that they want to identify while we're here, we can do that now. Okay, everybody seems happy. All right. So uh, the old business for the middle school was the Scholastic update as well. Do you guys have anything as far as requests or need from us? Um, we are waiting to see how the elementary goes through this process. Okay. And um, then we know that we want to utilize it in that January, February, March time of the year. So we're still working through some details with some different funds and making sure that the funds from CHAMPS will be utilized with Scholastic but then also like what are some of the other ones that are earmarked throughout the year and how do we make sure it's done. So we're not ready to make a move on it yet. Okay, sounds good. Um, if I can add something, when we did end of year books, we kind of, we let the, the teachers pick out groups of books based on reading levels of their classes because they kind of knew what they needed and then they submitted it in and we just got the, the final bill. So I'm, however it works good for everybody to do it is, is fine with me. Okay. Okay, uh, we will wait to hear from you then on that, and same thing, new business for the middle school is open, we don't have anything on the agenda today, so if anything, if anybody can think of anything that they wanted to discuss while we're here, I'm more than willing to listen. So with the middle school, we did not do a fundraiser in the fall, so we are looking at doing one this spring, because we have that activity account, and so I just wanted to... Um, bring that to the attention of champs because we would maybe want some help or something with that and it's probably it's more likely to be a virtual fundraiser that and we could have done it already this fall but we just didn't want to mess with it but our, our funds are a little getting a little low so we wanted to have something available um, because we can still offer like popcorn incentive different kinds of like little incentives within the classroom so we want to make sure that we have enough money for that and or little things that pop up that can go back to our students. Um, so we will be getting that organized probably in that February, March time. Okay. We will just wait to hear if we can help in any way then. Mm -hmm. I guess I just want to maybe add to that too that it seems as though um, you know other sports uh, teams, other you know the parochial schools, they're running fundraisers and whether or not CHAMPS wants to do something in the spring again or um, the popcorn. Well, whatever that schedule might be, but I think it might be good to do something some, something that's convenient that can be easily distributed, yeah. so maybe even, even possibly sent right to the yep. family's home. So if you, um, I could get some more information but this person who contacted me because it used to be called Hanson's but now Hanson's wasn't even doing a very good job with like the whole virtual route so they decided to sell out to this company and it's a pretty is a I don't know the name right offhand but um, it seems like they've got this whole virtual stuff like totally figured out and they work with a lot of different schools so I think that would be maybe a route unless you're going to choose to do something else but I think it would be good to have the information at least mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. so I can have that available for us in the January, at the January meeting? Sure. 
Okay. Yeah, that would sound good. And maybe we can run it in the February, March area. Mm -hmm. um, Amanda, did you talk to your popcorn contacts last time? Did you say something about they were trying to work out something virtual? So funny because I totally put that in the chat. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. <laughs> I didn't see it come up. Oh, the chat? Yeah, I, I didn't even know if you guys had the chat open, but with my speaker issue, I guess. Uh, yeah, so the Popcorn fundraiser from last year does have a virtual order. And it's a link, and the parents just go through and put their own order, and it gets directly sent to the company on the closed Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so since you did it last year, that, that might be a good idea to do yeah. something the same, but um, so, mm -hmm. sounds good. Okay, well, if there's no other champs discussion, we will adjourn our champs meeting uh, and turn into title education. Our next meeting is scheduled for Thursday, November 5th. January. January 5th, sorry. Is that right? Yeah, that was my bad. Is that yeah. still the right day, though? I'll look real quick. Up. Okay. Sure. We come back, I think it's January it's seven. 7th. It's the 7th. January yeah, 7th. Okay, so next meeting is January 7th. Um, I will make a motion to adjourn the champs meeting and turn the floor over to the Title I Education Department. I'll second that. 